Hello, Craig. Hello, Suresh. Great to see you this morning. Yeah, yeah great to see you too. Um, what are your questions? I mean, you got some questions for me this morning. Yeah, I do, Suresh. Oh, yeah, uh, I, want, I want to ask you, uh, really, why should a person travel uh, to study in the United States or go for a job interview in the United States or uh, go for a tour of the United States? Give me some real reason. Why the United um, States? I think there's a lot of reasons, uh, if I explain it correct, but mainly uh, if I personally say why people should go to America to study or you know visit us for a vacation, the reason why is because America actually comes to be the comes to be and it always has been the number one country in so many sectors and it's a global leader, it's the global leader and then America is the land of opportunity and it's not something I just say it or people just write it. It, it actually is the fact. And then people want to know the history about America. People want to learn from the champions. And then America got a very great uh, level of education quality. And they've got a great, uh, um, uh, in terms of psychology that you talk about business, all those giant tech companies. Um, they've got all those uh, successful and number one, you know, uh, IT companies. And also the business industry, also the politics or the journalism, also the uh, you talk about this uh, psychology and human rights and America always is leading and then I think people want to go there to learn and also America, go American government is actually facilitating the uh, scholarship and they really want to um, see the good people and also the people who are affected, um, victim in some region in any part of the world, they really love people and then they are, and also I think that uh, the education is not very expensive. They really care for people, and you know they don't. Have, they're not really making it too expensive. And I think for there are a lot of reasons like that. Also, if people they're just wanting to go and visit America, there's a lot of reason they want to learn from the first world country, and number one champion I would say. And there's a lot of reason actually. Uh, also, in the same time, I would say uh, the reasons will be uh, you know just uh, uh, depend on the individual basis as well. So. Very good, uh, Suresh. That that also I might ask too. That what uh, if the U.S. is looking for qualified students? Yeah. What qualifies the student? But the, what qualifies them is uh, the GPA, the previous you know academic history. Like what GPA or what percentage they've actually gotten from the previous um, academic school, uh, and also their English proficiency test, also their financial background, either their family members or their parents, are they able to? Um, support the student or not during when the student actually is in America studying in the university. So those are the three criteria and the factors that are really so important when it comes to studying in America. Mm -hmm. How can we help the students that are getting ready to study? Uh, what we can do is we we got the American trainers that are preparing the uh, preparing them for the interview classes. Also, uh, we got the trainers and the counselors who are, who are very eligible, who are very qualified to help them in their immigration and visa processes, including the selection selection of the a course and the universities and also um, our beyond education consultancy has got a lot of university that are extremely highly renowned in america so you have to have a lot of documents for these oh, we really process. we really don't need a lot of documents all we need is just a one day bank balance that's the hardest part because a lot of people they don't have 50 lakh rupees 60 lakh rupees 40 or 45 lakhs you know uh, so uh, that's the difficult part, I would say. But other than that, I wouldn't consider any difficult documents. If they're eligible, they've got a good GPA, good English proficiency test. Uh, that's all what they need, actually. They don't need to make like a, a medical or police or some kind of water document like 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 they apply, they use in Canada or in other country. They really don't have any hard time in making documents, correct? Yeah, that's it's really very easy, right? Yeah. yeah. It, uh, and the, uh, what about the acceptance rate of uh, people that are applying to the U.S. right now for oh, studies? Yeah, all right, right now is actually the very great acceptance rate than ever, ever, ever in the in, in the history of Nepal. After a long time, people say right now. I've got some many actually the uh, friends who are running the consultancy in Kathmandu, in Pokhara, and Biratnagar. So I, I always say them uh, like here. I, I always hear them say uh, the visa chance to rise ninety nine percent in the U.S. and based in Kathmandu, and it's not just like a one day. I hear that every day. It means it's happening right now, Craig. Yeah. And and Amazing there's a great stretch. great success visa in a success rate right now than ever in in, in in America. That's amazing to hear, Suresh. Yeah. And 
And so, again, the U.S. then is looking for qualified yes. students, and, and then we can help that beyond education and visa services, then yes. we can help the students get everything completed yes. uh, to reach their dream country. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that's a, a great thing. Uh, tell me about the, the Canadian situation right now because of the, the situation between uh, Canada and, uh, and, and India. That, um, how is that affecting the student visas for Canada? Um, so it's, it's not really that affecting right now, but I would say that um, it, it somehow created confusion and some mm -hmm. kind of, uh, you know, um, it's positive. Right now, is, it won't affect for a long time, I believe mm -hmm. that. But what's happening right now is even those who got on the visa, they are not actually getting their decision on time. Mm -hmm. Also, when they get the decision on time, it come, there comes to be the time to time to be uh, like stamped on their passport. So it's taking time longer than actually expected and it used to be in the past. But it won't be any problem for a long run, I believe. Well, what about the January intake? Do you think uh, uh, for applying for Canadian and, and American universities that, that, uh, uh, yeah. that we still have some time to get that in? Um, yeah, we got a lot of time. Uh, not a lot of time, actually. So, as if for Zana, when you talk about Canada, so there are a lot of universities and colleges, they've already closed and they don't have seats, actually. It's not about they close the um, intake. No, it's about the seats are not available. But yeah, there's yeah. a lot of students who already been enrolled, who's already got on the visa yeah. for next year already, you know. So, but, but there are schools that are still open. Like, it depends on the subjects and the area where you're trying to, where you're trying to actually go to in Canada. So, but when it comes to about, when it comes to U.S., so uh, what's happening in the U.S. is there's a deadline almost. The deadline for U.S., which actually is for spring, that's called January intake, is around the corner now. Mm -hmm. And it's the last call. Mm -hmm. And people and the students that are desiring to apply in the U.S. for January intake, they should act now. Now is the time. If not now, or if not within like a 15 days or 20 days, they have to postpone their plan for another six months, which actually will be for fall intake, which is for August intake for 2024. Mm -hmm. So I would say it's the right time and the last time to apply okay, to okay. the U.S. And so the, the U.S. process too is open right now for January intake? Yes, sir. It's mm -hmm. open right now. Okay. And so uh, so they should uh, just potential students come into our center today yeah. or tomorrow and uh, and immediately get the yeah, process yeah, started yes. and there's enough time to get in yes. for January and yes. take the rest. That's right, yeah. Okay. And also we've got a very lot of large number of students this time for Zen intake and uh, we got a great classes we're preparing mm -hmm. and them for a visa interview and I think we are the number, I would not say number one consultancy right now, uh, we will not even try to be number one, that's okay. So what I'm trying to say is we got the best trainers that are preparing them to actually face the interview. They will not be soft, they will never regret that they've got any wrong teacher, no. They've got a great teacher here at Beyond, you know, so um, that's that's what I can say with a very high degree of confidence, right? Excellent. And, uh, and so along with our students uh, that are getting ready to study yeah. abroad, and, and uh, we also have some spouses that, that uh, they're married uh, to American citizens and they need their visas. So Raj, how do they go about getting their visa um, to join their spouses in America? Uh, well, there's a lot of region, uh, not region, there's a lot of way. A lot of means like there's only one way they can do. A um, lot of means they can either they can apply as a tourist or student. There are other regions. But uh, but since then, like they've, they're married already with American cities and they don't have to go through all those F1 visa or some other visa to B1, B2. So they can apply for IR1 visa or IR, like there's a, that's called, you know, a, 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 you know, spouse visa. Mm -hmm. So what they can do is they uh, they can apply, they can send the email to the embassy, and then they will be given a date to come for the interview. Mm -hmm. So for that, they have the, some you know, checklist document, and the most important is the marriage registration certificate will be very important. The marriage registration certificate, which actually is done on the federal court of Nepal. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so that, that marriage certificate, and then uh, uh, what about photos for the wedding or things yeah, like it's that? It's good yeah. to have them. They will require all those messages, the communications and right. gatherings, the people, and so it's going to be a very important part of the And then some things that show the relation, anything that shows the relationship yeah. between yes. the any documents yes. that they have, yes. like uh, bills yes. or, yes. or uh, uh, 
uh, insurance. Yeah, bank, uh, bank account bank, together. Yeah, bank account. All those things, yeah. all those things yeah. are so, uh, supporting evidence yes, that, that's of right. the spouse's relationship. Yes. And also about each other's habits, qualities, weaknesses, strengths, and you know, those questions will also be there and uh, the person Being an, able to answer those. So, yeah. so how about uh, if you want to, to join your spouse in America, can you come into our center here and get the training? Yes. To, for your yes, visa? Yes, right. Correct. Yes, we can do that. So cover all the questions all that the are questions. generally asked that, yes. for that. Yes. Okay. Okay, that was wonderful, uh, Suresh, and, and, uh, and we uh, understand there's some some more interest for our, our public speaking training. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you tell our audience about our public speaking training? We got training. this public speaking training. We can see Obama right here. Mm -hmm. We can see the, the, the very famous man in the America. Auto. So um, we're actually running this class right now. It's actually called Powerful Public Speaking. Also, you can say world-class business communication. So both are going to be in one package. So um, the trainer will be from America. Um, in, um, and then so it's about how to build the confidence and how to grow, have those leadership, great leadership qualities. So it's going to also be relation, relationship building and communication skill and soft skill including if there are people who are actually suffering to or going through the emotional trauma or some sort of like a psychological trauma because there are people in some point and they struggle they had a good tough time and when there's no one to help emotionally and no one knows what's going on inside your brain inside your life and then it's it, inside you you're breathing you know you're crying but people all, all people see as you're laughing and smiling and with all those makeups and all those bodies and clothes so but inside no one knows it but with that also we've understood that very well we've got the great trainer uh, the the usc certified counselor psychologist counselor will be there to guide you to walk you through that and you it will also be the emotional well-being class also as i was talking about public this way it's a great class very great benefits for people uh, th those are who are working in a companies and who are on the executive skill executive power so uh, either that be government of company or you know the pub that's the public company or the private company all the people who are trying to go to abroad for the study visa or any other visa because they need the communication skill i hear my students talking craig and telling me that communication skill is so crucial so crucial than any other skill either they be a driver or either they be a you know cook you know the safe or or a waiter or cleaner in abroad so all they need is actually they need the communication skill how to write the good email how to text very well how to understand when people say that how to have a, a strong communication skill when they work for the interview and how to greet the customers and so in everything communication is going to be a great one so not your gpa and like a mathematics it's a great one but that's not going to help people to be successful when they go to effort so it's a class we all want to offer uh, for those who's actually already got on the visa and trying to uh, travel abroad also those who are actually aiming for that in the future professionals yeah professionals yeah very good that's right well we've got a lot of uh, things yeah. to offer uh, uh, people these yeah. days and so we're very excited to be able to offer that uh, yeah and you, you mentioned about the uh, the psychological yes, uh, right. stress that we face yeah. and then how to develop a plan to to work through those struggles yeah. and yeah. so yeah, so right. and and you completed that they can trust people i mean you know the, it, it's so important people they, they don't have anyone there are people craig you know i've seen people they've got a lot of friends they, when you see their facebook or instagram mm -hmm. the thousands of like hundreds of like comments they say oh you're looking strong handsome beautiful yeah. cute yeah. i love you and all those but when it really comes in reality uh, they're actually having a completely worse life and they're just suffering. crying and suffering and they got no one actually they can truly count as yeah. best friend or great mentor and i think uh, not only actually you get the class but i see that you'll get a great mentors as well at beyond education and 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 it's not just like a frenzy but also those qualified people are here who are already certified and qualified to handle all those and who's already been handling all those situations that i can promise you some people have asked about memory power. How, yeah. how, how's our memory power trainer? Um, well, that yeah, we, we would like to also actually do that, but uh, right now, so we're not really um, uh, focusing on it, but very soon we try to actually focus on yeah, that too. I think so, the good yeah. potential for yeah, that. Yeah, good potential for yeah. that. 
so uh, that's all for now um so thank you very much if there are a lot of videos we've made craig uh, so if anyone's asking we can uh, tell them to uh, go through our channel we yeah. very in just a very short period of time it's just been five months since we yeah. started youtube we've got fifty thousand subscribers yeah it's been been very good because we see the, the great yeah. need and, and the great opportunity that uh, to provide these quality yeah. videos Suresh, that, that uh um, that people are wondering how can I travel yeah. how can I get my visa how can I score yeah. high on my IELTS yeah. and so they come to our uh, beyond education YouTube channel and they subscribe to it and they begin watching the, the, the video so yeah. you remember the one guy that came in he's brought other people in to start training with us <laughs> but he said I watched 50 of your videos uh -huh. 50 of our videos he's watched and he passed the interview and he got the usa visa the interview yeah and he's passed, grateful yeah. he's grateful about yeah. us he thought we were not in pogra yeah and since then like he he knew that we we're in pogra he was extremely yeah. overjoyed and he got another friend who's already gotten the itonic right she's preparing for the visa interview now so. and we get messages coming to yeah. us on TikTok and the and the, the other uh, youtube channels that that uh, you know i've watched your videos and i just passed my student visa um uh, interview thank you for so, posting this yeah, video yeah yeah, yeah. so that uh, so the so you uh, go to our youtube channel and you subscribe to it and and watch those videos and you'll be greatly benefited by them, won't they? Yeah, that's right. that's right. Thank you so much for all those questions, and I believe it's going to be very useful for them, yeah. for the audience out there. Yeah. Thank you very much, Okay. Very well, thank you. Have a great day.